Hi there and welcome to my site. My name is Tim Cornish and this is for educational purposes. Today's lesson on Canadian things is called July 1st. They can be held to honor a special person or a special event. They can mark the birth of a religious figure or the birth of a nation. They can be celebrated with parades or parties, feasts or fasts. Like countries around the world, Canada has named certain days of the year as national holidays. Quite often, Canada's national holidays fall on the same day as similar holidays held in other countries, such as Christmas or New Year's Day. July 1st is the one holiday Canada is proud to call its very own. That is the date the country, from coast to coast, to coast celebrates Canada Day by honoring the beginning of the Canadian Confederation in 1867. Although most Canadians recognize July 1st as Canada Day, most do not understand the reason behind it. The story of Canada Day dates back to the beginning of British North America, when Canada included only the lands of Quebec and Ontario. This area was divided into two provinces, Upper and Lower Canada, while lands to the east and west included England's other North American colonies. In 1841, the British united the two provinces into one province of Canada and changed their names to Canada West and Canada East. The British made both French and English equal partners and gave them both equal language rights. A responsible government was established that year. Each side had leaders who represented their interests. In 1858, the West was headed by John A. Macdonald and the East by George Etienne Cartier. Macdonald and his backers wanted to form a nation of all the colonies of British North America, and with Cartier's support, the idea soon became government policy. In 1864, the two sides joined forces to, to discuss the, the Union. By coincidence, the maritime provinces of New Brunswick, Prince Edward Island, and Nova Scotia were also meeting with Newfoundland to discuss a union of their own. The leaders of the Canadas asked to be allowed to attend that meeting. It was held in Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island, in September. At the meeting, the maritime leaders were in agreement and prepared to form their own country. However, Canadian officials in attendance convinced them a federal union with the Canadas would be better for them. Representatives from Newfoundland were not satisfied with either plan and decided their province would remain independent. It was agreed that a convention should be held a month later in Quebec City. The Quebec Conference of 1864 was attended by 33 Fathers of Confederation, who passed 72 resolutions designed to create a union of the colonies. Only Prince Edward Island and Newfoundland again rejected the idea, fearing a union with the Canadas would not be in their best interest. In 1866, a group from the Canadas, New Brunswick and Nova Scotia, went to Britain to negotiate their union. The British North America Act was quickly passed by the British Parliament and on July 1, 1867, the Dominion of Canada was formed. The four original colonies became Canada's first provinces, Ontario, Quebec, Nova Scotia, and New Brunswick. Today, July 1st is more than just a holiday. It is a lasting reminder of Canada's own national heritage. Yay, Canada! Hit that share button. Thank you for listening. It's been nice being with you today. I hope your day is going real well.